Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm your host Cookie Simmer and today we are playing the Bridges LP part 11 and last time we left off with Enrique and Terry and they're here at Terry's new bakery that they just bought. Woohoo! The new bakery! Okay, so it's 7 p.m. but I'm just gonna pause it so we can I can take you guys as like a walk through through this kind of. I built this all myself and I hope it looks okay. I know it probably doesn't look the best but you know I tried my best um what I was going for oh in my um winter mod worked I was like why is everything so white and then I realized that it was a winter mod I put in a winter mod because there's a surprise coming up on my channel <clears throat> we are to be doing um I'm part of a 24 days of Christmas collab with like 20 like I said, 24 other simmers, one for every day of the month, and I'm uh, number nine, so I have a video going up on day nine, which is Friday, and I've decided on what kind of video I'm going to do, but it's going to be a surprise, guys, so don't be asking too many of them questions, because I can't tell you, because it's a surprise, but I really hope you guys enjoy the little Christmas montage that I'm going to have going on. What can I? Oh, there we go. This little Christmas montage that I'm going to have going on. It's gonna be super cute, and then I have like another winter video planned as well, but just to get a look, here is what it looks like. We have a nice pretty and pink um, little place. The bathrooms are over there on the side. We have a little fountain out front. We have... We have a fountain out front, and we have some tables and chairs outside if anyone wants to sit outside. Um, if we go inside to the bakery... We have a little sign out front. We have our little mailbox. We have some plants adorning the window. And of course, the, the building is not done. Um, we can definitely add to it, but right now it just costs like too much money just for this. And so we will definitely be adding to it and making it a lot prettier when we have a chance. But you see we have like four different cases. No, three. We can only fit three in the front. We have three different cases to put um, our food and I wanted to hang some stuff up on the wall but like I said uh, this was, was a lot of money so when we start making some money I will actually get some more things in here um, we have the cast register and if we go into the back this is like the work area where everybody will be at um, this is only for you know the family because we're the only ones who can make food so we have a cupcake machine oops 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 okay we have a cupcake machine over here and this is her cooking area where she will be cooking all of her food we have a nice little mat on the floor these are all like custom walls except for the spa day walls which is a tile and this is supposed to be a room for everyone to work in and whatever but i haven't put up a um what is it called i have not put up a um a door or anything in there because i was gonna like put like a a desk and chair and all that in it so that when uh, Kaylin comes over to the bakery she can sit down and do her work but uh, for the most part I think it looks great I'm super happy with it and so is Terry and she wants to embrace Enrique and just thank him for you know supporting her and her dreams and she is so happy and she can't wait but we'll have the, do, them do that at home and she also wants to t watch some TV maybe we'll have some family TV time this afternoon and she wants to hug someone she's just really happy because Enrique said yes to her dreams and <laughs> she's so excited and she can't wait so we're gonna have them embrace really fast and she's going to also just give him a friendly hug and express her love for him and then we're gonna head home and she is so excited to start tomorrow I'm probably gonna have them start the bakery like around I don't know around like three or four in the afternoon we have to like let her everyone but household members there we go but um we have to like go home and make a whole bunch of stuff for the bakery she wants to open it at least for like a couple of hours tomorrow so if we can get that done that would be great but i'm not sure because you know how long it takes for people to cook but it may take terry a little bit less time because her what is it called because her because her skill is so high but we will see 
I don't know. I'm not quite sure. But we will figure it out as we go. I've never actually, like, played with having a store really that much before. So this will be, like, a learning experience and just like it is for anybody else who hasn't seen it before. But you guys probably have because this pack has been out for so long. And I forget where they live. Um, I think they live in Willow Creek. Yeah, there we go. But... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't end that badly, but we'll see how it goes, because I, like I said, I've never really played with a store before, except for once, and it was going okay, but it wasn't like the best thing ever in the world, but we will see what we have going on, uh, but like I said, you'll see everything is in winter mode, because I have some things planned for the channel. And I really hope you guys like it because I'm not sure how this is going to go because I've never done a video like this before, but I'm willing to try and get it done. It's going to probably take me all week to get it done because like I said, I've never done it before, but I'm really excited to do it. And I plan on, well, I want to tell you what I, what I plan on doing for this other video. I plan on doing a lookbook, so watch out for that. But I will see you guys when we get back to the house. All right, guys, so we're back at the house. It is 10 p.m., and it is uh, pretty much time to go to bed. Put down the walls. Uh, the kids are up eating, of course. They're always eating, but uh, we're actually going to have Terry come over here and start cooking for tomorrow. What is flavorized? What does that do? Ten. Flavorized for $10? What is that? What are we flavorizing? I don't know. I want to see. What is she doing? Oh, oh, she's fixing it. Oh, what did that do? What 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 did that do? Hashtag so confused. But anyway, I'm gonna have her bake two items before bed so that we can have some things. So we can cook bagels, cheesy loaf. We don't have no potatoes. God, we need to oh fudge bars, exotic fruit pie. Ooh, I've never really dealt with like the. I've never looked into the baking skill before, so, like, I'm kind of excited. But, okay, so let's make something kind of fancy. So we'll make peanut butter cookies tonight. Are you going to make some? Are you going to make some peanut butter? No. Come back. Okay. Where are you going? Stop grilling stuff. No. I want you to bake some peanut butter cookies for your beloved bakery thank you but Enrique already went to bed he was like I'm tired I spent too much money today I have to go to bed <laughs> so now we're down to about forty thousand dollars which isn't horrible but at the same time it ain't great either it's a lot less than we had before and Alec, I don't even know if he's done his homework yet, but let's get him off the computer and see. Well, he can do some makeup homework, so I'll have him do that since he's in a good mood. Kaylin's outside looking at how pretty it is. I should probably change her clothes since it is no longer summer anymore, apparently, to my, due to my mod. So, um, I'll probably do that later. But get off the computer, kid. Do some makeup homework before bed. And I'm going to have Kaylin come over here after she's done putting up her food. I'm going to have her come over here and write another book. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't think she's really a screenplay person, so I'm going to have her write another nonfiction book. Well, at least get started for tonight. And Terry is cooking up a storm. Hopefully nobody eats the cookies before tomorrow, because if they do, I'm going to be pretty upset. But, I just hope not, because I don't want anybody to eat the cookies that we slaved over for the, for the thing. We can't do that. We can't be doing that. It's not okay. Okay. Thank you for making cookies, and, oh, we can decorate them. Decorate them. Yes. Oh. Okay, so what should this book be called? Um... I'm gonna call it the the adventures. Oops. Adventures 
of of curly whirly. Um, and this is about a book detailing the adventures of a female werewolf who is super, I don't know, who is a strong female lead. Girl power books, yes. And I'll put part one. So it'll be a series book. There we go. Let's have her decorate them. Just so you can decorate them for ten dollars. Decorate them. Decorate my cookies. Why can't you? They're sitting right here. Oh, okay. Now decorate them. Decorate. I want to see you decorate stuff. Oh, she gets that little piping bag. I've never seen this before. I love it. This is like the best thing ever. Okay, no cookies for anybody. They go in there. Go in there. Did they go? Did they go in the thing? Clara, there's a rumor that there's a- No, don't eat any cookies. No, don't eat any cookies. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill her. Anyway. No, we cannot because it's 1 a.m. and we have to go to work tomorrow. Sorry, Clara. I'm so pissed that she got a cookie. I just said don't eat those cookies. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all stink. Why do why do Sims always eat junk food? Like they always eat junk food. Like no matter what. Is kid still doing his homework? Oh, he's almost done. Okay, he's almost done. Then he's gonna go upstairs and use the bathroom and head to bed because he has to go to school tomorrow. Vacation is over with the capital over. So have him do that. I'm gonna have her stop writing for tonight and just go to bed because she is not her moodlets are fine. So, Bajor and Bridge would like to come over and hang out. Ah! Bajor is what I am. Well, I mean, I guess we ain't tired. Uh, okay, Bajor. Uh, okay, Bajor. Um, okay, Bajor. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Mom, go to bed. No one can witness this. Like he's coming over in secret. Like everyone's in bed. It's one a.m. Like stop. Bajor! Where'd he go? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm about to like, I don't know what to do. But she's bored anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi Bajor! What are you doing? What are you doing here? I'm kind of surprised you're here and all. I mean... And mom's going upstairs. She's saying goodnight. And no one knows that Bajor is over at 1 a.m. Her parents would definitely not approve. And I'm sure his wife doesn't know he's here at 1 a.m. either. I'm so, like, he got me all kinds of effed up. Who's, Alex, go back to bed. Okay, he's asleep. He's asleep. Okay, I'm going to sit and sit and chat here on our nice, nice couch. I mean, why he over here at 1 a.m.? I am so confused. But, I mean, Bajorn is nice and he real cute, though. I mean, like, she really does. She she really does like Bajorn. Like, she knows he has a wife, but she thinks he is so cute. And he's always over and always talking to her. And so, I think she's feeling very conflicted. She doesn't want to be that type of girl. But at the same time, she, like low-key 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 has a crush on him like for real for real i don't know if he would cheat on his wife or not i don't know i've never played with bajorn before but i don't know if he will cheat on his wife or not but i mean i don't know i don't think i want to say that i don't think that she's that type of person but at the same time she just, uh, I don't know how to explain it. She just, 
<laughs> like, <laughs> like she just wants to um. I don't even know what she wants to do with him. Kind of confused, but she, like I said, she doesn't really want the like family aspect of it because his family, like she doesn't like want to be his girlfriend or anything. She just kind of like wants to be with him. Is that bad? That's bad. But I feel like that's how she feels because you know, ever since that night they met at the bar, they've kind of been hitting it off. And Bajoran like that chocolate, apparently. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying that Bajoran is down. I'm not even going to say that. Forget it. Okay. Going too far. Going too far. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. Anyway. Um. Um. She wants to give him a heartfelt compliment. And I don't know what she's doing. But she has. She always has such a good time when she's around Bajoran. He literally makes her so happy. And I don't know why. Well, I mean, he's older than her, so I feel like she feels like a sense of, like, security in him because, like, he, like, helps her when she has issues or anything like that. It's, like, she feels like he has, like, some years on him, so, like, she, he understands her, and not only that, but he can give her good advice based on, you know, how old he is now. And he's not that old. He's probably, like, what, 30 or something like that. And she's, like, what, early 20s. But, I mean... Ooh! Ooh! Feeling flirty. Ooh! No? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see what happens when she... If she flirts with him a little. I wonder if that would make things weird. Uh, compliment his appearance. Let's just go out and start out slow. And compliment his appearance. And not full out flirt. You just want to, like, compliment his appearance a little. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Is she going to compliment his appearance or no? Where did the... Oh. Wow. Never mind. Let's see what happens. She's looking at him like... <laughs> oh, he liked it! He liked it and he's feeling flirty! Oh my god! I'm feeling some type of way! Bajord! Stop! No! Okay? And I think she's like, you know, they're up real late. She ain't thinking too clearly. I think she just wanna like... I don't know. Ask him a risky question. Cause ugh, why not? Why not ask him? We're friends, right? We can ask each other those kinds of questions, right? I mean, we're good friends. We can ask each other those kinds of questions without it being weird. And we obviously can because <laughs> he is down for it. Oh my God! Stop! And he's even taking out our. Oh no! Is he, is he rummaging to our trash? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's so weird. But I love him. I don't know why, but I love Pajorn. Okay, let's have him. Let's say goodbye. Let's, uh, we can ask him to just be friends. So if we ever, like, feel like we need to, like, if we start feeling bad or something like that, we can, we cannot go there anymore. Um, I thought we could just say goodbye. I don't know. Well, let's just ask him to leave then. Because it's getting late. And he can't stay over. And he has to leave before the parents get up. So, bye, Bajorn. I will see you next time. And, I don't know, maybe we can go to the bar or something, like, later. If you're not busy, you know, with your family and your kids or something. Bajoran, bye! Come on, ask him to leave. And she's feeling confident because, like, she's been flirting with him and she, and she is, like... Oh, my God. Sim is already leaving. Oh, well, you ain't moving, but I, I guess I'm gonna go take a nap. Okay, bye! I had a great time, too, Bajoran. Thanks for flirting with me. I'm gonna go to bed now. Sleep. Okay! So, now that that is over, I'm gonna have Terry go ahead and get up. She's... Uh, for the most part, 
pretty okay. Gonna have her use the bathroom and take a. I'm gonna have her take a bath with soaks. So I'm gonna have her take a lavender foam bath. And Alec has to get up and go to school. So get his Batuki out of the bed and have him go downstairs and grab something out of the. Fr oh, is he? Is it already school time? Did he not have time to eat? Yeah, he didn't have time to eat. It's fine. Just have him go to school. And Enrique, he has time for food. So we're just going to have him have a quick meal. Have him have some yogurt this morning. Uh, we're going to send him alone. Like I said, I'll play him off camera again to have him do what I want him to do but we're gonna have Terry come down here and bake some more because like I said we're gonna have her <clears throat> go to the bakery today and she can't wait to show Kaylin so when Kaylin wakes up later this afternoon we will all go to the bakery together wait hold on Alec was sent to the guidance counselor's office to discuss ways to improve his academic experience. The counselor is asking all sorts of questions. Did Alec tell the truth? Make it something that will leave the counselor satisfied. Huh. This is very... I've never seen this one before, but this is... I can see why this is Alec, because, you know, he's been... He's been, you know, not feeling so well. He's been kind of, like, on the verge of depression. He's always angry. He has some issues. And the counselor has obviously noticed. But I think, honestly, Alec wouldn't tell the truth. He would just make up stuff. Because he doesn't want anybody to know the truth. Which is sad. But it's truth. So we're going to have her make some sourdough bread. You are not eating peanut butter cookies this morning. No, thank you, ma'am. And Kaylin's royalties are in. We made about, what, 400 some dollars and some cents? 146, 128, yeah, around like 300, four, yeah, 400, I would say 400 because this would be around, yeah, 300, and then plus that, that'd be around 400, so. Around 400 dollars, she needs to get... Okay, so Alec paints such a bleak picture of his home life that the counselor insists on talking to his parents about his living conditions. Ah, oh, crap. So, apparently the counselor didn't buy it. Didn't buy it one single bit. But, you know, he just, he just didn't want to tell the truth because, you know, when you're not exactly happy or you're having issues like that, you don't really tell anybody. And that's just the truth. But, hopefully they won't exactly come through and I don't know we'll have him make friends today hopefully he won't actually come through and have a serious conversation with his parents because he's already been having those conversations but you know hopefully I don't know I don't know I don't know but we made a loaf of bread put that bread in the, in the refrigerator I want to know why they always set the stinking food right on top of the cookies. Like, that's so annoying. I'm going to have to set them somewhere else because that's a bugging the holy poop out of me. No one uses this area over here, so I'll just put them over here. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and no, you are not eating any. No, you are not eating any. You're gonna put it in the fridge. Well, maybe I should just have her cook at the. Ugh, she took a bite anyway. So annoying. But I'm gonna have her go ahead and put it in her inventory. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and head over to the. Why won't it go in her inventory? Thank you. And then open this and put the cookies in here all right and we're gonna have no stop eating everything uh well you already took that slice so you can just eat it whatever eat it if you're gonna eat it we have to go like soon i think kaylin's gonna text mr bajorn this morning and tell him how much fun she had last night so she's just gonna i don't know call and chat with him for a little while oh she's sitting downstairs too 
and they're all eating bread. You guys are gonna get fat. But it's okay. It's fine. I ain't judging. Why is he angry? Because he didn't get the response he wanted at school. Oh, just because he's hot headed. And now he's feeling because he has to have a parent counselor meeting. Aww. Aww, poor baby. He's, he <laughs> stinks. But actually, guys, it's already been like 23 or 24 minutes. And we will definitely head to the bakery in the next part. So this time, I'm just going to like in this part here. I know this probably hasn't been that exciting. Well, I mean, except for Bajoran sneaking over in the middle of the night for no reason. But um, we will definitely head to the bakery in the next part. We'll probably spend the whole next part at the bakery and trying to make that moolah. But he wants to invite over Ashley. Aw, how cute. But yeah, he can invite over Ashley. But anyway, if you guys like this part, please like this video and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and what you like about this LP. I love hearing your opinions, so don't forget to voice them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.